Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the series related to principles of drug discovery. Let us see the role of bioinformatics in target discovery and validation. Welcome to the series 9. Um, data integration and mining. How bioinformatics is useful in it? Bioinformatics allows researchers to gather and integrate vast amounts of biological data from various sources such as genomics, proteomics, transcriptomics and metabolomics. By analyzing these data sets, uh, the researchers can identify potential targets associated with the specific diseases. So here from this uh, diagram we can see the genomes are identified in the genomic analysis then uh, they get uh, transcribed to transcriptome they, there you get a data related to transcription then it is translated to proteins there you get the data from proteomics then they get uh, into converted into metabolites you get the data from uh, metabolomics and uh, some of the metabolites can be targeted by the uh, small molecular drugs so this integration uh, you, you have a huge data in each step so this integration is in the hands of bioinformatics to validate this to find the targets uh, that is in the hands of bioinformatics so uh, uh, how bioinformatics is useful in comparative genomics comparative genomics is a bioinformatics technique that compares the genomes of different organisms to find similarities and the differences between the species by studying the genomes of different species including humans and the model organisms for example mice or rat researchers can identify identify the conserved genes or the pathways that may be potential targets for drug invention so here you can see there is a model which is generated from drosophila as a disease model you can you can screen the large number of compounds using bioinformatics then the selected uh, it is like a filter then you get uh, leads for the my validation in the mammalian models such as mice or rat then you do the molecular docking work you get uh, in vitro and in vivo assays then you get the desired compound for further analysis in the humans so this is possible with the help of bioinformatics <laughs> Let us see here. So, by the bioinformatics technology, you get a model organism, you apply it, you get the output. So, here you can see you may get the data from microfluidics, C. elegans, Drosophila, Danurario, that is zebrafish, yeast. All these things they give huge amount of data. So, you get the genetic data, you get the chemical data, you get the behavioral data, and the mechanical data that is their interactions and you get the imaging data also so all these are integrated and studied a meaningful outcome is possible only with the help of bioinformatics that is with the help of computational techniques systems biology and bioinformatics bioinformatics helps in understanding the complex biological systems through systems biology approaches it involves modeling and simulating biological networks and pathways to identify critical nodes or molecules that could serve as potential drug targets. Let us see the systems biology of yeast samples. So here the yeast samples are um, taken, they are barcoded with the barcoded beads. The yeast sample is run, they digest the yeast cell wall with the cell lysis, it goes for mRNA hybridization, then reverse transcription. With the help of uh, the bioinformatics tools, library can be prepared and it could be the, the sequence of the uh, DNA or the proteins could be sequenced with the help of bioinformatics. Structural biology and bioinformatics. So bioinformatics tools <coughs> enable the prediction of protein structures and functions based on the amino acid sequences. The information is valuable for identifying binding sites and designing drugs that can interact with the specific target molecules. So here, the proteins from C. elegans is explored 
there are n number of proteins which are deposited in the protein data bank and you can utilize these proteins for further research it is deposited in the protein data bank or uniprot or swissprot which can be utilized we can understand the disease pathology and the functional biology of the c elegans how it is related to humans and how the drugs could be studied with these proteins which could be extrapolated to the human species database and knowledge repositories bioinformatics maintains extensive databases and knowledge repositories containing information about genes proteins pathways and diseases so these resources aid researchers in identifying potential targets which are associated with specific diseases or conditions so pharmacogenomics and bioinformatics so it is nothing but individualized drug therapy bioinformatics plays a major role in pharmacogenomics which is the study of how genetic variations influence an individual's response to drugs by analyzing the genomic data from patients researchers can identify the potential drug targets that are more likely to respond positively to specific treatments functional annotation bioinformatics tools helps in annotating the function of newly discovered targets by comparing them with the well characterized proteins are using domain analysis to predict their roles in the cellular processes annotation is a multifaceted process that involves combining computational predictions with experimental data to identify and characterize the genes and their functional elements within a genome or a proteome it is the fundamental step in understanding the genetic basis of biological process and is very essential for advancing research in various fields including genetics molecular biology or medicine so bioinformatics tools help in utilizing the zebra fish model for research by analyzing and computing the biological data of danurario and extrapolate the data to other species so here you can see there is a huge data which is available from the embryo toxicity studies or the efficacy in the zebra fish model you get data at a different time points where the fish develops from the embryo to the total fish so this data could be compiled and could be utilized for research only with the help of bioinformatics gene knockdown and gene knockout studies bioinformatics can guide experimental approaches like rna interference or crispr cas mediated gene knockout to validate the impact of target inhibition and disease relevant cellular models expression analysis bioinformatics enables the analysis of gene expression data to determine if the target is upregulated or downregulated in disease conditions and further validates its relevance as a potential therapeutic target so the cell lysate is taken <coughs> it undergoes proteolysis and you can get the different targets new targets can be obtained where the small molecules could be studied by using computational simulation techniques network analysis so by analyzing the protein protein interaction or genome genome interaction the regulatory networks bioinformatics can identify the relationships between the target molecule and other components of the disease pathway providing additional validation target drug interaction prediction so bioinformatics can be used to predict the binding affinity between the target and the potential drug candidates helping researchers prioritize and optimize drug development efforts so you can see you may use the antibody array protein array functional protein array all these data could be compiled with the help of bioinformatics so in summary the role of bioinformatics in target identification and validation you can see from this you get the data from genome or proteome and it is validated then you can identify the best leads leads could be optimized and with the help of bioinformatics you can develop a new compound then it has to be validated with in vitro in vivo and human studies so it is a very short nutshell information of bioinformatics uh, how it helps in uh, target identification or uh, target discovery and its validation
i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends if you like this video kindly press the like button go through all the series in the principles of drug discovery thank you